Hi, and welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming here at the Great Dane East Side location, so we'll talk with them about that a little more. We're excited to learn because this is our first time filming here, so it's quite lovely. First, I want to introduce, though, to my right, Miss Beverly Broyles. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me here today. I really am appreciative and enjoy being with all of you. Absolutely. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about an event that Beverly leads, I believe, and has yes. created, and now is uh, you've got a, quite a few years under your belt called we Walk do. a Mile in Her Shoes, so we please do. introduce Thank you. Well, Walk a Mile in Her Shoes is a fundraising event for the YWCA Rock County. This is our 11th year of raising funds to help bring an end to domestic violence. That's fantastic. I have, I have to say, uh, about seven years ago, I was involved in the event, and it's quite amazing. You have it's a lot terrific. of people in it, and oftentimes people are wearing high-heeled shoes, oftentimes yes. not, but that's yes. kind of part of the deal. Tell us a little bit about how it works and what that means. Well, uh, the event was actually, it's a national event. Mm -hmm. It was created by Frank Baird in 2001, I believe, and we are a partner in this event, and so other organizations have become involved as well. We became involved uh, specifically to create awareness of domestic violence and to raise money to bring an end to, to domestic violence. So, oh, so uh, much it's a wonder, and it's also a great way to get men involved mm -hmm. in the effort and in the cause uh, because it also affects men. Domestic violence is not exclusive to women. It also takes place with men. Absolutely, and I think from what I understood when I was involved, the idea behind it is to um, have a feeling of what it would be like to walk in a mile in the shoes of someone who's suffered from abuse. And so you make it a positive event to recognize yes. that. So it's yes. really quite creative. Yeah, it goes with the old adage of, you know, to truly understand someone, you have to walk a mile in their shoes. Mm -hmm. So that adage now has been transformed into walking a mile in her shoes, which is to hopefully bring awareness to what it's like, you know, to be a woman, to be uh, involved in a domestic violence uh, issue. Mm -hmm. And there's many men out there that do this and they're wearing high heels. They do, Absolutely. they do. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> it's a fun event for a very serious cause. Good job. Now, is there any way people can still get involved with this event? I know it's probably around the corner. Absolutely, but. it's around the corner, but luckily for anyone that's in, interested in becoming a sponsor for our dinner, which is complimentary for our walkers this year, there's still time nice. because the program hasn't been printed yet, so I can get you in there. <laughs> I like how you think. She's got a <laughs> whole too. Yeah, I create the program, so yeah. get your name in there. Beverly, let's take a sec to talk about where the money goes and how it helps. For example, I know you have a 24-hour helpline, 24-hour yes. helpline. Um, you provide shelter nights. Talk about where yes. the money goes to help folks. Yes, the money goes to support our Alternatives to Violence program, and that is the or program that includes a domestic violence shelter. So we have a 33-bed shelter uh, that houses moms and children who are fleeing from their home and the, their abuser. It also is supporting our Transitions for Women program, which is an 11 apartment uh, facility in Janesville that houses women that are really working toward uh, financial empowerment, uh, security, and independence. And so we have an 18-month program for the women. I really like the distinction here because one is helping women that are maybe still in that situation trying to get out and the other is women that have finally made that leap mm -hmm. but a little scared and maybe need some help to exactly. move forward. Exactly. We work with resume building, with interview skills, uh, we help them find employment and maintain employment by providing transportation dollars. Wow. That's something so, to be so proud of because like you're kind of explaining there's so many facets of the troubles that exist when you're in a domestic abuse relationship right. and home life that mm -hmm. it's not just getting away from that person or finding a you know solution there mm -hmm. it's also then for the future building mm -hmm. what is going to happen to you how do you take care of yourself absolutely more importantly, the big question is do you have to wear the high heels <laughs> <laughs> we encourage it and we have about a hundred pair that we provide for the men but no they do not have to That's you do awesome. not have to wear high heels we're quickly running out of time i want to find out yeah. exactly the date and the time and the place Please okay the date is august 11th which is, is a week from tomorrow it is at the Pontiac Convention Center in downtown Janesville on Pontiac Avenue. Our website is www.ywcawalkamile.org and, and you can register and become a sponsor. Fantastic. Okay. We'll do all of those things. Listen to Ms. Beverly. She knows exactly <laughs> what she's talking about. Thank you and stay tuned for more Girl Talk after the break.